Hi guys, I'm Shmi and today I'm in the Netherlands where I'm visiting Van der Kooij sports cars near Houten. And in particular, I'm here to take a look at the car behind me. This is the Xenos E10S. It's clearly a car very specifically designed and built to be a track sort of focused, but road legal, exciting driver's car. I'm going to show you around the car, talk a little bit about the specs and performance and that side of things before going for a short test drive with the Van der Kooij guys. Very generous of them to have me down here to take a look at something I've not previously had any exposure to really. So the Xenos E10S it has the 2 litre turbocharged Ford EcoBoost engine, 250 brake horsepower, 400 newton metres of torque, of course mid rear mounted, rear wheel drive. The car comes as standard with a five-speed gearbox optioned up to the six-speed that this car has. Fairly high spec actually in this car with the windscreen, which is also an optional extra. Certainly one from my brief drive so far um, that you would, I think, want to have. The competition seats, which look almost non-existent. You can also upgrade the four-point harness to a six-point harness um, and a number of other changes. Zero to 60 is around the four second mark. And it sounds pretty immense as well. The car's built in the United Kingdom in England. It comes from the founder of Caterham who moved on, set off, set up Xenos afterwards. The entire car is built around T-shape chassis. So if I just open up this, which we'd already unlatched, you can see the central sort of spine there that runs through all the way towards the rear, and you can see the uh, double wishbone suspension as well. But that runs all the way through to the back, and then the T in the rear section out to the wheels behind the engine. There, there are no doors, so getting in and out is a sort of climbing over affair, which is always interesting. But where this sits is, you know, in that sort of very much second car, summer car, bit of fun to go and drive. Um, purely about the driving experience and excitement that comes with that. So for now, let's fire it up and hear how it sounds before we go for this drive. But let me first show you the key, which is this little fob you have here. Slide it down, press one and that will turn on the power lights up those uh, front running lights and then you would jump in the car press the starter button or two to shut it back off let's turn that on and jump in and start it up with the vehicle's power enabled let's press one press of the start button to turn on the ignition you can see we have the central display in front of us very straight to the point with the rev counter along the top speedometer and gear selector and we have the secondary display here for further information just in front of the six-speed manual gearbox We're greeted also by this alcantara finished removable steering wheel which makes getting in and out of the car a little bit easier as well then if i do another press of the start stop button with my foot on the brake and clutch She fires into life and we can see a little bit more of the information here on this central display with the larger speedometer, trip odometer, rev counter to the left and the fuel and temperatures on the right as well as well as a boost bar alongside that. Oddly the car actually has heated seats as well, you can see the little uh, heated, seat, <laughs> heated seat switch down there on the door. Let's hear it and how it sounds then. First task with all of this is getting the harnesses on. There we go. I'm in and secure. <laughs> okay, so here goes into first gear. Already feels exciting. It's got like an urge to go. And then you get that noise going off with the waste gates. The 
This is going to be a fun drive, I think. Obviously we've got nothing by way of ABS, traction control or any kind of electronic assistance in this car, so we have to be quite careful. on the brake pedal. <laughs> you just want to keep dabbing at the throttle just to make it make that noise again. idea if you can hear me on the camera. Obviously with no roof, well it's not windy, but it's very noisy from the engine sound behind us. I think often with cars like this they're built to be out and out almost sort of track cars. One of the things that might be missing is sort of the normal kind of comforts and in this car we've got no problems. There's a nicely placed armrest, the steering feel is sort of comfortable, the seats are not as bad as you might think they are at all. In fact after a couple of minutes driving no issues whatsoever. Positioning is great, you can see exactly where the front corners of the car are which is again good for the driving experience. So as a driver's car that very much be driven out and out, on the, out and about on the road. I think that's one of the purposes with this car. Most of the customers will probably use them as road cars for good sort of fun drives, as opposed to necessarily purely on the track. Um, but it's certainly a good car for this purpose. And then you've got that noise going off behind you again, which is just purely addictive. Xenos is the brainchild of the former caterer of Los Anza Ali, and you can see where all that sort of experience and expertise has come from and gone to. Because this thing is just a lot of fun to drive. Sort of built, built very much for this sort of niche kind of market, I suppose, but it does it very well. And it's obviously no slouch. Plenty of performance on tap. The grip is phenomenal. The speed through corners is wonderful. The gearbox is a joy to drive with. This is basically what a driver's car is all about. Pure fun on the road. Nothing too crazy from the power point of view that you're just going to run yourself into trouble. Completely usable, not too uncomfortable, or anything you would sort of not be happy going out and about with. Obviously, if the weather wasn't on your side, it wouldn't be wonderful, but that's a small price to pay. I'm not gonna lie, that was a pretty fun drive. That's a like proper driving kind of experience. It reminds me a bit of when I used to own the Morgan three-wheeler. Just pure fun, not necessarily the most practical, just a car you're gonna take out to get pure miles per mile out of. And that's exactly what this has been, the Xenos E10S. Let's take a look around it though at a couple of sort of other different bits and bobs, some of the design stuff, see what we can see just sort of kind of looking around it taking different parts of the design. You can see it's really open there through to the tire. 
all this whole front area is just meshed and completely open as well behind the number plate. Almost feel like you don't want to have a front number plate on it there. Incredibly sticky Avon rubber on the tire on the wheels. Again, more sort of open airflow stuff. You can see straight through there to the uh, coolers, radiators at the side. Body panels you can have painted in any color if you want. You can have different parts and different colors on this car. Thing only weighs just over 700 kilos, so it's not that much to it really. Center exhaust tip. Again, more sort of open space and air. This car's just had a new exhaust system fitted as well when it's been driven in a little bit further. It'll uh, make some more pops and bangs and crackles and stuff. I've been told it's quite hard to open this to get a look at the engine, so we'll give that a miss for the time being. But it's the four cylinder, 250 brake horsepower, 400 newton meters torque, two liter Ford EcoBoost engine. I think I mentioned briefly there's a sort of storage pocket pocket that's about the space you're going to get with this these sort of areas I suppose you could just about squeeze a bag in behind the seats so you're not going to be taking much with you but then it's not the kind of car you're going to really take on that kind of trip I suppose very small door mirrors well, they're not really door mirrors are they because they are they aren't attached to doors because there are no doors just kind of what looks like a door from a design perspective um, but you do just hop in on which note, I'm going to jump in the other side and show you some more of the sort of controls in there. With the engine right back behind us there, it does get pretty warm. And obviously there's no air conditioning in here that would waste quite a few kilos. I say that we do have heated seats, I mentioned that before. Uh, that presumably is not much of a weight penalty. But I'm going to show you around some of the other controls and the lights. So I've got the key here, let's just fire it up. What else can I tell you? So, Stork's point of view, you've got fairly basic wipers on one side, indicators lights on the other, of course. Down here, you've got a series of controls, you know, your fog lights and horn and... <coughs> That's quite funny. Um, and these buttons, which take you through this display. So, I alluded to the main display earlier. If I press that once, you get this other display with a larger rev counter. Gear in the middle and the speedometer made significantly smaller with split lap times. Um, and more focus on the driving essentials and then you get into the sort of basic information of, about the, the car on that central display there and then you go back round to the one we had previously which is probably what I have there and then here you've got the um, hazard lights, a cigarette power socket and that's more or less what you're looking at in here of course you have the uh, removable steering wheel Take that off, probably going to cause me trouble putting it back on now. No, there we go, straight back on, easy. Uh, a very functional interior, roll hoops at the back. More or less what you would expect. Let's shut that back off. There we go then, the Xenos E10S here at Van der Koy Sports Cars in the Netherlands. A big thanks to Rainier for having me along and looking after me during my test drive. I've enjoyed that a lot. Here in the Netherlands, with all, all of the taxes they have to go through, it's a 64,000 euro car. But relatively speaking, that's fairly inexpensive for this kind of machine. I don't have the UK pricing to hand, but the base E10 starts from £30,000, just a shade under 29995 or so. But I've certainly enjoyed that fun little car to drive. I'd love to have another summer toy in my garage, but this has been a good day. So once again, big thanks to everyone for making this possible. Really enjoyed it. Awesome little bit of fun to drive the Xenos E10S. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to Shmi150. Check out all the other videos from this tour I'm on in the BMW X6 M50D, driving around Europe, test driving a host of different cars as I go. Once again, thanks to Van der Koy Sports Cars. Make sure you check them out. I'll pop in all of their links right down below. I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers.